This is the final interior of the Mercedes EQS. This is the all-electric S-Class built on an all-new electric building platform and also allows new things both on exterior and here on the interior. The first thing we can show about this new vehicle. And you can see the most crucial thing is the so-called Mercedes Hyper screen. It consists of a central 17.7 inch screen in the middle part, left side 12.3 inch digital instruments and on the right side 12.3 inch passenger display. The middle one and the right one is OLED each. However, it is not standard. You would start with a 12.8 inch screen in a vertical way like we know from our Mercedes S-Class review, so like in the combustion engine S-Class. This is also then the standard for the EQS. The hyper screen is an expensive option. The glass is somewhat curved, by the way. It's really interesting to see and feel that surface and the glass creating process is comparable to camera lenses. So what we can see with this new EQS interior is it has somewhat of an electric touch because it looks so futuristic. It also reminds us of the Vision AVTR we've shown to you earlier, a concept vehicle. So it looks, yes, concept vehicle alike on the interior. And although it is made of three individual screens, it really creates the visual effect of being one big panel. And classic for Mercedes also these swinging sensual lines and also the ambient lighting will be oriented alongside of that. We also have some night shots here for you that you can see how spectacular this interior will also look at night. If you change the temperature by the way it will also show some animations in red or blue that you visually see that you are changing the temperature. The MBOX that's their infotainment system is also updated then in the latest version. For the electric vehicle, what is important there? The GPS will combine the charging stations and the trip you want to use. So calculate what is the best way for you to reach your destination and then orient itself on the charging stations available and the charging status and so on. So that your trip is overall as short as possible. As for the air quality, what's really interesting here is that they're using a big HEPA filter. So the outside air is being filtered and on the inside you only smell clean air. Why did they do that? Of course, they mainly thought about customers in China and they are very polluted cities. So there's good air on the interior, even though there's much pollution outside. Well, yes, the local emissions, you know, EV are supposed to help for that as well. The HEPA filter, however, is an option once again. Yeah, we know the theme at Mercedes. So many things are optional. Standard, however, are animal-free seats in Artico high-grade leatherette. They are available in black, gray and beige. And you can also get a microfiber seat. That one, once again, in the known AMG line. But now they are calling it a little differently. The microfiber is now called MicroCloud because they changed the supplier. And they also have a new material called Neotex that is somewhat a mix between a slick leatherette and a microfiber surface. So it also feels something in between like with a microfiber surface and the neoprene style. Very interesting new materials they are using. Optionally, however, they still offer animal skin seats, which is not according to their sustainable luxury new slogan. So I think they should have been more consistent with their supposed to be sustainable EV here. Because on the other hand, they also pay attention to a CO2 neutral production. So I think they should have been also more consistent with the seating material choice. But at least the animal free seats are standard. As for the steering wheel, you can get at the moment an animal free steering wheel on request, but it's just a special request. and They also work on that, that you can pick it directly from the configurator later on. Two different stylings are available. We already know it from the E-Class facelift or from the S-Class combustion engine model. This is the standard steering wheel, the more elegant, luxurious line. Yeah, in this strange slot design, there's a small vertical slot in the middle part. I said slot not with you <laughs> yeah you got that and they have capacitive buttons that looks cool however it's really hard to control while driving so we really prefer the old solutions for the pre-facelift e-class model or for the 
previous generation S-Class. Now again, fancy look, but harder to control while driving. And then there's also the AMG line steering wheel that looks a little bit fancier, more sporty style. I also have it here from the S-Class review. This will look just the same with the two horizontal fins. Again, a sporty look, but the same hassle with the capacitive buttons on the steering wheel. And another thing taken over from the combustion engine S-Class, the head-up displays. Either a normal simplified one or this one here, as we've seen in the S-Class review, with augmented reality functions, especially for the GPS arrows. As for the seat forms, there will be two different seat forms. There's a comfort seat that is a little bit more plush, also, also a little bit more area to move around and like special wrap style at the side bolsters and then there's a sport seat also thought out for the AMG line this one then is a little bit sporty and also has this integrated head restraint style however considering it's a sport seat we're still in this luxury segment it's not a stiff super tight sport seat it's still somewhat delivering an open seating atmosphere Another interesting feature available in the new MBOX screen is that you can get different sound experiences. So either you can have an all silent atmosphere in the vehicle also while driving, or you can pick one of these sound modes and one is more modern, more spaceship alike, I would say. The other one is even more subtle, hardly audible. And then there's also a sporty driving sound. So the sounds won't be that present as we know for example from the Porsche Taycan or the Audi e-tron GT. And another interesting sustainability detail, the floor materials in the inside cabin are made from Econeule. These are recycled fabrics, so this increases the recycling share in the vehicle. Well, this is one color look now for this interior with a bright styling. However, as I said earlier, there will be different stylings available and also different kind of veneers. You have some modern styling in brushed look, for example. We also have a three-dimensional atmosphere with a special three-dimensional structure on it, but also some more classic stylings like matte wood. And the interesting thing is when you go for the base screen, the 12.8 inch vertical screen, so not the hyper screen we see here now, then you have more space for a bigger veneer for the styling of the car besides the screen. Then it would be good not to opt for the hyper screen. So this is our first interior overview of the Mercedes EQS and we already gave you a lot of interesting details. Soon there will be more to the EQS coming up on our channel. So please subscribe if you haven't done so far. And if you have subscribed already, thank you so much. And also activate the notification bell that you don't miss any of our videos. We will be driving the EQS and we will also have a full review on the exterior and the interior live with Thomas on stage. See you soon.